Nautil has the ability to move very, very precisely over the seabed. And while we're moving back and forth, we will be firing the cameras at the bottom. Each of the images that Matthias captures is like a piece in a jigsaw puzzle. As the pictures are assembled, scientists build a unique view of the entire wreck. This process is called photomosaicing. The pictures are there to tell a story. What, what the mosaicing does and what the individual videos do is to reveal a story within this wreckage. And each piece has its own little story to tell. Scientists can now clearly see some historic and dramatic locations. On the stern, the third-class stairwell comes into sharper focus. The night of the disaster this was a place of confusion and panic as passengers tried to escape the ship. Titanic's furthest aft deck also becomes more visible. Near these decks, many received last rites from Father Thomas Biles, while others took their chance by jumping into the icy waters. On the ship's bow section, the davits used to lower lifeboats can be seen with striking clarity. Officer Charles Lightoller worked here for a brief period evacuating Titanic. The mosaic also reveals the grand staircase. Today, it's a ghostly remnant of what it once was. With painful reminders of its past elegance. This skylight looks into Titanic's wireless room. A piece of the radio still hangs precariously from the ceiling. The night of the disaster, Harold Bride and Jack Phillips frantically sent out calls for help from this room until the water poured in. For the next several days, Matthias and the crew of Nortil photographed the wreck piece by piece. It will take thousands of images to complete this historic mosaic of Titanic. Late at night, Magellan heads back to Titanic. Yeah, wait till we get around here. And tag on. Investigators now turn their attention to one of the most astonishing events of the Titanic disaster. Keep that loop outboard, because it's going to go up top. The moment the great ship breaks into pieces. Uh, can I bring up hydraulics? Just tilt that pan and tilt it down. Why you know. Let me know when I'm in the water. You're in the water. OK, bring your head 90 right. 90 right? OK, come right.
To this day, much of the Titanic's breakup is shrouded in mystery. For passengers and crew, this was a time of utter horror. For those who witnessed the breakup and lived to talk about it, it was a terrifying spectacle. You could see her propellers and everything. Her rudder was clear out of the water. And then her lights went out. Able seaman, John Buley. We pulled from the Titanic for a distance of a city block when Titanic began to shake to pieces. First class passenger, Lucille Carter. While laying on a bundle of chairs, I could see the ship split in two. There was a rain of wreckage and a big piece of timber fell on me, striking my vest. August Weichmann. Today, investigators will comb the wreckage, looking for clues that might help to explain Titanic's violent destruction. Magellan approaches an area near the stern, known as the debris field. As it reaches the sea floor, Magellan sends power to its lights. All right, looking uh, 240. 600 feet out. Heading is 215. Yes, we are in the south of the, of the debris field, south of the stern. Uh, I don't know exactly at which distance, but probably 200, 300 meters or something like that. Dead ahead, uh, 60 feet. We're coming in some stuff. The wreckage in this area is staggering. I got a nice big target at 270. Massive sections of the ship stand like giant monoliths. I'm gonna get right up above these things and look down in. Okay, it's gonna take me a little while to get over there. Each piece has a story to tell. Thirty-five. You want to get lower now? Yeah, turn right. But deciphering what the wreckage means is incredibly complicated. There's so much stuff around here. It's, uh, it's really difficult to zoom back. You'll figure out where it came from. The process of interpreting the wreckage to reconstruct the disaster is called reverse engineering. Looks like something that's definitely got ripped. Any ideas what that was? It's the same approach investigators use to understand modern disasters, like airplane crashes. Okay, I'm just gonna pan it to the right real slow. Among the scattered remnants, the team locates a series of boilers. Each more than 20 feet tall. This is pretty tall here, Roger. These boilers may yield significant clues. Some survivors yeah. believe Titanic's boilers exploded contributing to the breakup of the ship. Mm -hmm. Investigators want to know precisely what happened on that terrifying night. During the tragedy, as Titanic is being evacuated, some survivors say they hear the massive boilers exploding, breaking free and tumbling from the ship. While I was helping with the boats, there came explosions below deck, and the ship took an 